All right, next problem here. This is a little different. So as I mentioned earlier, a real problem on Instagram are bots, bot accounts that basically exist to go around and like a bunch of stuff or to comment on people's things, but not create their own content. They're not real people. Oftentimes they're commenting the exact same thing. Or like if I post a photo, I'll notice I get like 10 likes immediately, like the next second. And usually there's not 10 people who are happening to, you know, to like it immediately. There's some sort of program that's happening behind the scenes where it's looking for new posts and liking them immediately. So in our hypothetical Instagram clone, we have the same problem. So what we want to do is just find all the users who we think could be bots. They're users who have never, or excuse me, they're users who have liked every single photo on the site. So if we have 257 photos, they've liked all of them. If we have 800 photos, they've liked all of them. And I'm going to show you a, a way of doing it that actually uses something we haven't seen yet, something new. So go ahead and give it your own shot, and then we'll have a solution. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, we know it's going to be a join between users and likes. So we can start with a, let's do select star from users, and we'll do an inner join likes. And the reason we know it's an inner join because we don't care about users who ha don't have any corresponding likes or likes that don't have a corresponding user, those shouldn't exist. So we want the inner join, we want the overlap only. So select star from users inner join likes on users.id equals likes.userid. And if we start with that, it takes a moment. We've got, remember, 8,782 likes. And now what we wanna do is group them based off of the user who did the liking. So we'll have a group by, and we have a bunch of choices of how we group them. We could do users.id, or we can do likes.userid. We'll save. Okay, so now we have 77 rows here, and we can see you know, there's a bunch of information. We've got the username. We don't need created at, so let's slim this down a bit. Let's do select username user ID, and we'll just keep it at that. Okay, so these are all the users who have liked anything at all. We're grouping them, right? So they're grouped by user ID. Um, oh, I'm missing a comma, that's what's going on. Now what we wanna do is figure out how many. So that's just a matter of using count star which you should feel pretty good about now. We'll give it an alias right now. Okay, and we can get rid of user ID as well and just do username. Okay, so we can see that, you know, we have Andre Purdy 85 has 94 likes. Let's give this actually num likes. But the question was not just to figure out who has the most, but to figure out the people who have liked every single photo. And, you know, if you don't remember how many, we have 257, but we're not talking about cheating. And we could cheat if we wanted to check exactly for 257. It's not too bad, but you might think you could just do like a where, where num likes equals 257, but that won't actually work. And that's because where clauses actually go before the group by telling it what the data you'd like to select to group versus what you'd like to select from the group's data. So where doesn't work. We need to use something different, which we haven't seen, which is called having. And having acts like where, it's just a different word. Um, and what it will do is take our group's data, our end result, and allow us to filter based off of a clause. So we can say having, and we wanna say total equals 257 just like that. So now if we do it, oh, total, I changed the name to num likes. But now if I do it, you can see, okay, these are the people who have liked it 257 times, liked every single post. But the problem again is we hard coded 257. So we could fix that very easily. We want this to be dynamic, however many photos we have. And we can just use a subquery to select count star from photos. So this will be where the number of things they've liked is equal to the total number of our photos. 
and there we go. We get the same exact thing, but this time if I add a thousand photos or remove 10 photos, this will still always be the total number of photos. Okay, kind of an ugly query with a subquery here, um, but if you came up with something different, post it, we'll have a discussion.